Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Jams. Just another Minecraft series. This is episode 15. Three fives, 15. And in today's episode, we are going to make a statue. Yes, a statue with this stuff, ice. I figured there's plenty of ice around, so why don't we make a ice statue? But first, I'm going to show you some work I did on my wall. So let me go show you real quick before it gets dark. I uh, did this wall this last episode, episode 14 of Minecraft Jams. And I decided to add a uh, packed ice um, top to it and add diorite little columns in here. I needed something to kind of separate this walkway from over there. So I decided to add this packed ice to the top, this kind of like retaining wall. And I think it looks pretty good. It kind of separates everything from everything else. And it makes um, the wall pop out a little bit better. So I do think this is a improvement. Um, so let me know what you think. Is that an improvement? Yes. So I'm going to go get some sleep and then we are going to start working on the statue, which is, as I hinted at yesterday, going to go right there. I already have little doodads there to help me out. It was mentioned in the last episode that people were amazed with what's going on with the tree farm, even though I haven't been focusing on it during the last video and probably this video, I have been working on it. So um, there are things on it that I haven't shown in video um, that has been done. So yes, it does look a little different, but don't worry. Um, when I get a chance, I am going to make a video on what I've been doing to this place. So you guys can know exactly what's going on. But off the tree farm, because this episode is going to be about statues. And um, a statue I have chosen is laid out right here in front of us and it's gonna be different um, usually when people make statues they make them out of um, rock and stuff but I have decided that instead of doing that I'm gonna be doing something more along the lines of this um, I do not know if you know what I am working on but if you suspend a piece of ice in the air and put some light around it it will eventually turn <laughs> eventually yes I say eventually it will turn to um, water and it will just float there okay do I have to encase this thing in the stuff ah, there we go <laughs> yay um, So when it is water like this, I just collected my glowstone. I hate getting glowstone in the nether. It's one of my least favorite things to do. As you see, I always have that potion resistance just in case. That was like the last thing I did in this world before I recorded this episode. And I just don't like to get it. So I'm going to take my glowstone back as quickly as I possibly can. But there we go. That's not going to be the statue. But that is going to be the focus point of the statue floating water so I'm gonna have this column of floating <laughs> water it's gonna be hard to explain in the center with some glowstone in the center so it all glows out uh, where these white diorite things I'm gonna have a column of water going down and stop floating it's gonna actually stop mid-air floating uh, in this four areas and then um, some more stuff a ruse of floating water where these other things are at different heights and it is all figured out in my head I hope I can make it build it before it gets out of my head because that happens a lot but I do have a, um, a basic one made in a test world so the problem with building like this and if I do it on camera you will see me get very upset once you go like this you update the water and you ruin it. So, I don't want running water in this. 
I want floating water. So I'm gonna have um, probably 10, 15 pieces of floating water in the statue. Maybe more, I don't know. I haven't really actually counted them out. So the 10, 15 is just uh, a basic estimate. And if any of them get up updated, ooh, as I am building this, I have to start over from scratch. So this project could either take me 20 minutes or it could take me a few hours. So I am going to get to work and start building some of this and I uh, will show you what I'm talking about when I get some of it built. So we've got the uh, center column all made and as you see two of the pieces have already thawed out and they're staying right there in the center and there's that center piece of um, glowstone and I don't have to wait for these other pieces to thaw out before I um, do this. But from right here, I'm going to start building the water columns that come down from the top. So I'm going to do that real quick and maybe I'll show you how to, when I got the setup, how to actually incorporate it so it works properly. So I've been working on this fountain thing and you're like, what is this weird cobblestone square thingy majiggies with ice underneath it and um, let me show you get rid of that these are basically uh, temporary blocks the cobblestone and the diorite um, and that's basically to hold this ice and make sure this stuff um, flows down properly so basically, I'm going to have a water stream flowing down from this glass square down to this piece of ice there. And um, let me show you what I mean. Can I reach it? So we'll come down like that, right onto the ice. And once that ice underneath here melts, and I take away these cobblestone blocks, the ice will turn the water and the stream will end right there. It will not flow down to the ground. For some reason, it's one of those weird, I don't know if it's a bug or a glitch or whatever you want to call it. But the ice, once it melts, the oh no. I was afraid of that. Fuck. Um, yeah, I'm still in a in a um, cold area where water freezes. Shoot. So I'm gonna figure out what that means. I'm gonna have to cover this. So that means I'm gonna have to go up top here. Put a piece of glass above it. That's going to stink. Oh, I need some more water before I do this. Oh, I can just break that. Mm. Let me, uh... No. Shoot. Shooty pooty. So, I'm going to just stick a piece of glass there. I guess I'm going to have to do it for every single one of these. But I guess it won't look too bad, I hope. If not, I can change the design of this fountain. Alright, so there you go. All the ice has melted from underneath these blocks. I had to put the glowstone up here to melt the ice that was underneath. But supposedly, now, if I get rid of these, um, this meat, my stomach will fill up and I won't lose health. If I get rid of these um, blocks here, it won't update. Mm, I'm just a little too short. I don't have that problem in real life. I'm like six feet. <laughs> I'm a tall guy. So yeah, um, the only problem with the way this looks is that top glass part, but hopefully the glass doesn't stick out too much or it might become part of the fountain design but um, JL77 you know if you ever come up with a 
YouTube name. Do not use numbers in your YouTube name. But JL72749, I think. Uh, it's numbers that I normally remember. And DocM77 had come up with a squid farm. And they had these water things for the squid to spawn on that just stopped mid mid air like this and that's kind of how I learned how to make these water um, streams that stop in the mid air so that is gonna let me get up here ah let me learn how to walk so that's how I figured out how to make these water streams stop so basically that top piece of ice has got them out and now um, I can replace this one this is gonna be glowstone and I'm gonna have a floor down here eventually of something I don't know what but I'm gonna uh, place some more of these um, water blocks where this stuff is and I'll show you some progress Ooh, I'm missing a spot over here and over there okay so what is this one two three one two three where's my cobble there's my cobble we gotta have cobble all right guys I uh, finished up the weird statue looking thingy majiggy it's not what I was looking for because I forget that I live in an ice plains biome and I needed to put some sort of shelter on top of this in order to keep the water from freezing. So I didn't have a design for that. So I have it as done as it's going to be in this episode. But it's not complete. Um, but it's going to be complete for this episode. Unless I come up with an idea before the end. But here it is. It's a little weird. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this. Um, let me get down. Get a closer look. What I had to do, I put um, glowstone above every single one of these blocks. Then put glowstone in between the two blocks. Um, I really don't want that there. So I heard that I can put like glass blocks 50 60 blocks above this like I can put one glass pane way high above this block right here maybe you know say a hundred blocks or something and supposedly once this ice is melted it will stay melted even if it's in an ice biome and let's see oh I'm in the plains here but I walk over here I'm in the ice plain and that's where my stuff gets messed up so um, I think what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna at least take out these three glowstones on the sides up here on each corner oh a little lag there in each corner here whoa computer okay and um, I'll probably get rid of these glowstones here because ultimately the only glowstone I want is the one in the middle here. And the, don't even want the one up top. And then I think I'm going to get rid of all this excess glass. I do not like the looks of that glass either. So, I don't know. It's throwing me for a loop. So this is what it's going to look like for a few episodes until I fix it. Or if I fix it today and the next. Depends on how much this bugs me. How much of an eyesore this is. Um, it's kind of what I was looking for, but I do not want all this glowstone, and I don't want this glass here. Uh, some glass is going to stay up there. Um, but not this whole thing. I figured it was going to look okay. Then I decided to <laughs> do something weird down here. Um, each one of the floating water things has its own little half slab and I decided to put a <laughs> purple stained glass thing on each one and that is to kind of tie into over here I'm gonna give you a little sneak preview of something that I haven't shown on camera but it explains the purple there so if we go in here um, 
I've got purple. Purple, 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 purple. And I put the purple on top of this glowstone here to tie in the purples up there for the purples down here. And I said, well, you know, I've got purples and, you know, this blue stained clay is kind of purple. I might as well tie in the purple from this building, the, um, the packed ice from this building, and kind of merge or morph the two buildings into this thing of weirdness. <sighs> yes, I will fix this. It look, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look like what I wanted it to look like. It looks really weird, and it's not what I'm looking for in this area. Um, so I'll work on that at some other time. So the other thing that we're going to work on, um, it's, a, it's a little quick project, but I made this pathway, now I got to fix my doors. So I've decided to put in a double iron door here, because I had a spruce door here, just a single door right here, and the spruce door isn't fun and exciting, no, actually, um, the iron looks better with the the snow, the blue, and the diorite, so I decided, yeah, why not? So, for those of you who've never done a uh, double iron door set, uh, real quickly, um, let's beat, get my blocks. Yes. The doors are going to be on these two blocks. So you double, <laughs> they go double wide, uh, what is it, six? Six block thing? You do the little step down like you're doing a mine on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So you just cover everything with uh, redstone except for one block there and one block there. And there's that magical lag again. You cover everything up like this. And doors. Doors, door. And look at that. And there is a way to make a timer, and I was actually trying to do that, but I think they changed some things where I was doing something wrong. I'll look into it in the future. Um, oh, if you put pressure plates there, that's what the uh, redstone underneath also helps with, so it opens. But there's a, some sort of timer you can have that will, you know, open the door now, it will stay open until you hit these pressure plates. And um, it's a really simple fix. Um, a couple of redstone torches and a repeater, but for some reason I'm not getting it to work for this, <laughs> this world. I like every once in a while, and this happens with pistons, you'll get a phase sound because there's multiple sounds going on at the same time and it sounds phased out like a Hendrix song. But and help in a little bit there. Yeah, let's open doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think that looks a little bit better. Um, and I decided you can put buttons on either side with this. <laughs> and yes, I like playing with doors. Iron doors can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Don't like to use them that often, but this, this screams that I need iron because it's a white facade and stuff. And the door, hmm, I didn't think about this before. Um, the door is a little off center to the left. Maybe I should make a triple, maybe I should make an etho door here. Hmm, thoughts, ideas. I think I might do that because this window is perfectly aligned. And what I'm gonna do is get rid of all this dirt here, uh, kind of like I did on this side, so the front face shows. And this door will be one off center here, unless I can do a triple iron door, but that's not going to look good. So I think I might do an etho door. Um, I'm going to just think about that, and it's not going to happen this episode. This episode's on its way down, winding down. But uh, yeah, maybe etho door. Let me know in the comments. Should I do an etho door with the hole in the center? You know what I'm talking about. So like I said, I'm going to um, cut out the dirt over here. Um, but there's a problem. I have this diamond shovel, uh, it's almost dead. So, and I have 33 levels, so we're gonna go 
and see what type of, <laughs> there's that phase piston sound again. We're gonna go see what type of um, enchants I can get with certain stuff and get some of my stuff going. So let's make, where is my stuff? I do have an old shovel. The shovel's the main thing I wanna fix right now. I have a, a, a four, uh, what is it? A efficiency five on breaking three. I think this one's unrepairable though. Let me see. Oops. Why would it be in there? Oh, yeah. Why don't we just fix this then? Too expensive that way. But before I do that, I just want to see what type of enchant I can get here. I'm breaking three, I'm breaking three, and I'm... I can't do better than un <laughs> uh, the five. So I might just waste all my levels right now. How much to fix this sucker? Two. Oh. So I've used up the shovel. This is the last time I can fix this. Screw that. We'll put this backup shovel back in there. We don't... This looting... Why don't I have this looting on my thing? Probably because it's too expensive. 29, that would give me looting 3, so that would be good. So it was just because I didn't have the levels at the time. And right now, as you see, I am levelless. Anything good? Sharp is unbreaking. I'm saving those unbreaking books. Um, I always got to see what's coming up. Efficiency 4, that's pretty good. Okay. So I have fixed my... I got to leave my... I know you guys do this... Um, you always take and move your lapis away from your <laughs> enchanting tables, don't you? Yeah. Yes, you do. I know you do because I do it all the time, but you gotta do it too. Uh -huh. Because it's not just me, it's you too. This gotta be fixed also. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna start cleaning out the front of the building here and see what I can come up with. Uh, it's just terraforming, so I'm gonna do it off camera. So I'm cutting out the front of this um, building right now, so um, it will look like more of an entrance here, which means I'm going to have to fix the stuff in there. That's just um, a cave that I <laughs> explored and made my base. Yeah, so we need to fix that a little bit. It is kind of fixed in here. Um, on the inside where I made this railway, and I just kind of made this room... I mean, it's not a complete thing because I have excursions into caves down there. But maybe I should block this off and make this look better also. But that's a job for next uh, couple episodes. What's in here? Anything? <laughs> I wonder if this is my first cave for... No, I don't think it is. I was going to say, I wonder if this is my first cave where I just spawned. But I remember, uh, my first cave where I spawned was over here I believe because I always leave a crafting table at my spawn point just so I can see and there it is so that this is where I, I spawned someplace like right over here and ran over here and probably cut down a few trees on this hill and that's where I got my initial cobble so this is like spawn point right there um, yeah. So I'm working on the front entrance here to make this better. I gotta cut out some of this, um, kinda make it curve around a little bit, but let me fill in this hole here. Make this look a little better. Because we definitely do need the entrance now, and now that this is all cut out, you can see I need a three wide entrance here. That ain't gonna cut it. So. Quick tor tutorial five minutes ago for nothing. But I'm going to continue doing this and um, we'll see if I have any time left in the episode to do any other small revisions in the world. But I just kind of want to get some sort of idea on how this entrance is going to be. I'm just cutting out a basic... Duh, we don't want to fall down there. Is that even lit up? Yeah, it is. So yeah, I'm going to work on this and I'll be back. 
I decided not to finish the entrance to my base because I really wanted to finish the fountain in this episode. And um, so what I had done, I have decided to build to the build limit. As you see, can I do this? Height limit for building is 256 blocks. It's not going to let me place any more blocks. And what I had done was I recreated the pattern that I had down there. Um, and the ice or that weird, brilliant art decor fountain I made. Eh. Um, so the, I, the water won't freeze the ice. So I'm going to go down there and get rid of that glowstone. All right, so I have, ooh, I have an Enderman here. Come on, come on. I still need your pearls of love. Give me those pearls of love. I guess there's no love. Hmm, that kind of stinks. Well, I, I took down, well, there's that glass up there at the height limit. I think that doesn't look, you can't really see that. And it does cover up all this and keeps it from freezing, which was awesome. But then I realized that this stuff started freezing because, you know, some of this is in the ice plains. So I threw this glowstone in here. I think I'm going to take it out and put it into the floor so it's at the same level as that. So none of this stuff down here freezes. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have the purple suspended like that still. I don't know. But basically, I have run out of time. I can't do that so right now and this video has got to go and it is kind of long so I am leaving this ice sculpture thingy majiggy as is the only thing I might change is move that glowstone but that's for the future um, so I hope you like this it's a weird little fountain thingy but um, yeah I don't know <laughs> It's, it's weird. It's art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, as we, when, uh, I used to play in the band all the time and I make a mistake or somebody makes a mistake, it's like, it's free jazz. I was meant to do that. Yeah, I was meant to do that. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it will grow on me. I, the idea seemed so much better than the finished product. But I'm going to keep it, see if it grows on me. Um, maybe change where that glowstone is. But... I'm going to have to call it a day. It, it's been kind of a long episode. We got the fountain done. Yay. <laughs> I mean, no, honestly, let me know what you think of that fountain. Is it too weird? Is it too something? But anyways, have a good day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Please like, subscribe, and do whatever you like to do. Leave me a comment. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to change. Have a good day. Peace.